You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. There are several things happening in this palace. And people might just wonder if there is law and order. The truth of the matter is this. There is laxity on the part of the maidens and the guards. And because of that, I assembled you here. I have the power to recommend any of you to be sacked. But believe me, I do not want to use that power. So, I suggest that we all sit up at our post and responsibility. Maidens should do less makeup and gossip. And to you, the gods, you need to avoid all forms of truancy. All hands need to be on deck to make this happen. Another thing, no matter should be taken to the king or the queen without first discussing with me. And then I will decide whether the king or the queen should hear it. This attitude of maidens running to the queen and guards running to the king must stop with immediate effect. All information must go through me. Are there any questions? No, sir. No. Any questions? No. Okay. In the absence of no questions, I declare this meeting closed. But remember, you must all sit up and do what is expected of, of you. Dismissed. My boy, I um, asked you to come here to reassure you of my absolute trust in your ability as Chief of the Palace Guards. You can always come to me. Thank you. Uh, you have access to all the private places in the palace. Well, your late father. Uh, your late father was a nobleman. He was noble as the chief of palace staff. So it is not a great wonder that uh, you have decided to step into his noble shoes. I'm at your service, your majesty. As a chief of palace guards, you have the power to hire and fire any guard you, you find wanted. And most importantly, Chief Madu told me three days ago that he suspects one of the maidens, the one from his village, of immoral activities. Now I will want you to investigate that thoroughly. No maiden who works for the palace must be less than humble, chaste, and obedient at all times. Your Majesty, I am aware of the consequences of immorality in this palace. And I can assure you that this maiden involved will be investigated and punished if found guilty. Good. We must let them know that this kingdom is a sacred kingdom. And many of the things that other kingdoms get away with it or take for granted will bring our kingdom to her knees. So we have to be careful at all times. Your Majesty, I am humbled at the confidence reposed in me. And I can assure you that as head of the guards of this palace, I will do my best. I will keep you posted, Your Majesty. Oh, I have absolute confidence in you. But uh, always remember, if you need anything, 
come to me. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Absolutely rubbishing. Um, I feel like undressing and making you feel like a woman. Mm. And why would you say you were tempted? What you say is what you have to do. Why? I, I mean, I, mean I, 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 I agree with you, but as you can see, I, I have all the kingly paraphernalia and uh, I cannot undress in broad afternoon to play with my wife. We have all night to do that. Wonders of night. You are not challenging the woman in me, and it is gradually getting on me. Well, uh, yeah, yes. Um. <clears throat> well, um, I have instructed the chief of palace guards to investigate the uh, allegation that um, Chief Madam I brought the other day. I asked him to let me have his report as soon as his investigations are concluded. And what makes you think that I am interested in whatever allegation, accusation or whatever Madam made? Listen King, I am of the opinion that these maidens should be allowed to enjoy their bodies. Oh. You are not talking like a queen. Immorality is a serious crime. 
and our mages cannot and must not be allowed to misuse their bodies. It will bring terrible problems to the land. And why would you concern yourself with the lives of maidens? The king of Ipoko is a great one king. You should concern yourself with the politics of the states or even the federation. And not with what happens in the lives of maidens. As far as I am concerned, the maids cannot do anything to bring down this kingdom. Now what brings down the kingdom is what the elders refuse to do. There is a lot that you need to learn. A country without a tradition is a dead country. Fairness. I don't know why you're asking me this question. Why not call the maid at the center of this controversy and ask her yourself? Eh? What's your name again? My name is Oini. Beautiful. Now you listen to me, Oini. I called you here because I think I can trust you. Okay, I need you to tell me exactly what you know. Gladys has been alleged of engaging in immoral acts. And I want you to tell me what you know. That is exactly what I'm saying. I don't know. Why not call Gladys? Ask her yourself. How am I supposed to know if she has engaged in any moral act? I don't know. Does she sneak out at night? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. But that does not conclude the fact that she's doing that on immoral purpose. I see. Now, if you were asked this question, what would be your answer? Why would a maid sneak out of the palace at night? Why? Fernand, why are you putting me on the spot? In fact, I'm confused. I don't know why you're asking me all this question. Call Gladys. Ask her. She will be in a better position to answer. Stop putting words in my mouth. I have one question for you. A very direct question. <laughs> Is Gladys a virgin? How am I supposed to know that? Gladys is Gladys. Oinye is Oinye. I don't know. Moreover, Gladys knows that every maid that works in this palace of Ipoko Kingdom must be humble, chaste, and obedient. If not, she won't be working here in the first place. Call Gladys, ask her if she's a virgin. I don't know. Uh -uh. Well, know that this meeting is a very confidential meeting. Yeah, I don't need you to discuss it with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'll call you later. No problem. And who could that be? Yeah, the door is open. Your Majesty, <laughs> the Queen are bowing in greetings. When are you ever going to court about this? Royal nonsense. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I don't understand what you mean by royal nonsense. You know, when I look into your eyes, I do not see a god. I see a man that can quench the fire in me. yourself and call me Helen. Your Majesty, I'm sorry, but you're the Queen of Iboko Kingdom and I cannot call you by your name. <laughs> Do you realize that? 
I dream of you every night. I would be so upset if any God addresses me without respect. But I don't see you as a God. I see you as a man. I'm sorry. I the 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 king has entrusted everything into my care, and and you are the only thing that he sees as very sacred. And it's impossible that I will see you see the woman in you, Your Majesty. I'm sorry, I can't sit on the same bed as the queen of my land. It's a taboo. Why don't you try to do less of tradition? And do more as a young man with fire. For Christ's sake, I'm telling you. Look, the king avoids me like a plague. Every passing day, I am roasting. I am dying. And you are that man that I want to quench my fire. I want you to see me more as a woman and I will change your life. Okay. Yeah, you, you, you might just, I came to inform you about Gladys. Gladys, one of the maidens has lost her virginity and I want to relieve her of her duties so I came to get your permission <laughs> because I know if the king finds out he will give her as a punishment. <laughs> and why would you want to fire the poor girl simply because she lost her virginity? I'm sure she's old enough to have a boyfriend, isn't she? Your Majesty, she, she bears your cup and, and that of the king. She, she, she's supposed to be a virgin. If, 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 if it happens that she, she, she gets deflowered, she, she, cannot, she can no longer perform that duty and we have to leave her out there. You know, there's really nothing you would ask of me that I won't give to you. So, you just go. Do what you have to do and come back. I'll be waiting. Alright. Sack her without the permission of the throne. I think I did the right thing. Besides, I have the permission of the queen. You know, I think I'm just avoiding her getting a harsher punishment from the king because I'm sure that's exactly what he would do. You made a point. But don't you think we should you know, get her, force her to disclose who our partner in crime is? That's none of our business. It's not my concern. My only concern is to make sure I protect the cultural sanity of this palace. The girls or maids that bear the cup of the king are humble, chaste, and obedient. 
that's it for stop. I'm sure I did the right thing. Yeah, you did. Be at your post. Are you aware that this is the throne room of the Book of Kingdom, where elders of our land meet on a weekly basis to take binding decisions on the affairs of the people? Why bring in um, bedroom matters here? Yeah. I am not talking to the throne, Your Majesty. I'm talking to my husband, the King. Or are you telling me that I can no longer talk to my husband? But of course you can talk to your husband. But there are certain things you cannot discuss before the throne. Things like um, re reason why I have not touched you for a long time. And other trivial things like that. You know, it should be left for when I retire to bed. <laughs> Darling husband. When you retire to bed, you will sleep. What? As soon as you get into the bedroom, you just sleep and you do not wake up till the next morning. No, You no, have no. reduced the bedroom to a place where you only sleep. No, no, no. That is the reason why I decided to come to the throne room to see if I could get my husband to appreciate the beauty of the Queen. But I have always admired the beauty of the Queen. Well, why did I marry you? I married you because you are a beautiful woman. But my dear, you don't have to invade the throne room to know that I still appreciate your beauty. Mm. So, do you promise me that my husband going to come to the room today and do what you're supposed to do as a husband? But I always do my duty as a husband. But if you insist that I must swear, then I swear. <laughs> Please. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. Mm. Bless the cabinet. A member will, will see, will you come here and hear what we are discussing. I will hold that promise as a debt. And if I do not see you this night in my room, if you do not come to do what you're supposed to do as a man, I promise you, I will come to your room and force you to do your duty as a man. This night. Oh, no, Zero. Please. You're the only neighbor that I trust. Tell me what is happening. Ferdinand, your mother's condition is very critical. Oh my god. I suggest you come and see her. Please. She's alive, right? Yes, she is. Good. So where is she now? We took her to the clinic, but we have realized she's not responding to treatment at all. Um, so um, I think we should come and see her before she dies. Okay. Please, I want you to do me this favor. Just stay with her and take care of her for me. Take care of her, please. I'll, I'll, I will come this evening. I will. Thank you. I will try my best. But try and bring money while coming, okay? Please, because your presence alone cannot solve the problem. Hmm? Okay. Just try your best to bring money. Okay. Huh? Right. Please. Your Majesty, I would have gone to the king, but this is the time that he's having his compulsory siesta, and I dare not disturb. That's why I came to you. I forbid you from ever going to my husband, the king, for any form of monetary assistance. If you need any of such assistance, you come to me. Now, and if I realize that for any reason you've gone to my husband for money, 
I will not take it lightly with you. Am I understood? Y yes, Your Majesty. Well, um, I, I need some money for my sick mother. I need to transfer her from one clinic to another one. doing this because you are the one man that I cherish so much even though you're still refusing me I have already given my heart to you have it thank you your majesty thank you one more thing, Ferdinand. Yes, Your Majesty. I want you to make me a promise that you will do anything for me. Your, your, your Majesty, this is, 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 is a little beyond me because I'm sure there are some things I won't be able to do for you. Let me have my money back, if you can't make the promise. I'm going to see my mother at the hospital. You guys, make sure you maintain the standard that we have in this palace. I'll be back when I'm through. All right. All right. I just hope he missed the poor woman alive. Mean what? What is your problem? Do you want his mother to die? No, no, no. I, I've been having this feeling, this terrible feeling that something bad might happen. And I mean, I don't want it. What is the problem? What exactly is happening? I have already prepared the papers. As I told you, the woman that brought her here, the best we can do is to take her to a specialist hospital where she will be properly diagnosed. As you can see, this place is just a med clinic and we don't have the facilities to handle her. So why is nobody telling me something? She's just lying as if she's going to die. What is happening? What is the problem? One has reason to believe that she drank a concussion that is not good for her. You know all this unscientific herbal formula that is being circulated everywhere. She took it and thing is not good for her, so it's affected her liver. So it's swollen and uh, she's finding it difficult to breathe. Doctor, are you saying my mother is going to die? I didn't say so. I cannot even say so because her case can be handled. Just take her to the specialist hospital like earlier recommended. They can continue from where we stop. You know, they have all the facilities to handle our case. I was the one that told you I was suspecting her. I expected you to have called me, discussed with me, before firing her. Did she tell you that I was the one who fired her? Oh no, is it the queen? 
Because I know it's only two of you that have the power to hire and the fire in this palace. Madhu, you are wrong. The chief of palace guards has the powers to hire and fire. And as a matter of fact, he was the one who fired the promiscuous maiden. Your Highness, the head of the palace guards has only power to fire when it borders on incompetence. But that's not the issue here. The issue here borders on immorality. A maiden of this kingdom who bears the royal cup was found to have abused her body. I mean, she deserved something more than just being fired. Your Highness, immorality is a serious crime in Iboko land. You know it too well. So, anybody found to have abused her body or committed immorality should have been sanctioned in a right way. Now, you have not mentioned anything about the man or men who defiled the maiden. They ought to know that any maiden who bears the cup of the king must not be romanced by anybody. Our primary concern should not be on the man or man. It is possible she may have opened herself up to men from other kingdoms. Which you, your highness, cannot do anything about. I suggest you call her back to this kingdom and banish her. In fact, as I was coming to this palace, I saw her. She shouldn't be in this kingdom at all, your highness. Madhu, I'll repeat. The chief of palace guards has the powers to take disciplinary action against a guard or a maiden. He has fired the promiscuous maiden and it is a decision that I believe we must allow to stand. What I'm asking you to do is not difficult. Just get into bed and massage my bare body and I'll give you money to take care of your sick mother. Her Majesty, why do you want to set me up against the gods? Nobody is supposed to touch the queen's body. That's only when you do that without the consent of the queen or without a reason. That is not the case here. Besides, you're going to be in so much trouble if you refuse me. I can argue that you flaunted my orders. Your Majesty, I can, I can, I can go to the throne and, and, and tell the king that you need his presence immediately. And he will be here to massage your back. I do not need the king to massage my back, Ferdinand. Besides, he can't even do it. I, I, don't, I, I don't know how to do it myself, Your Majesty. I've never done it before. Then I'll bludge you my body. Come and experience the signs of massage. Your fingers are quite sexy. And I know that they will do extremely exciting things to my body. Get into bed. Why me? Why am I the one? Because I find you irresistible. I don't want to imagine life without you. Your Majesty, you are the Queen. I know that. But before I became a queen, I was originally an active woman. This royal marriage shit just caged me completely. You know, you are the only hope I see around. Just do what I've asked you to do and I will give you all the protection that you ever needed. I'm already under the protection of the king. Lee, stop talking like a child. Besides, your mother's health 
should be your concern if I were you do what you have to do and Fair deal. Is she dead? Does it mean you are not bothered with your mother's health? Of course I am bothered. I spoke to the doctor and he said I need to transfer her to a specialist hospital because then, they haven't got all the facilities. Then why are you back in the palace without moving her to the specialist? If I have to transfer her, I need money. And that's why I'm here to raise the money. Ferdinand, let me tell you something. If you allow your mother to die, her blood would be on you. Why are you cursing me? Why are you putting the curse on me? As if I'm just relaxed and I'm not doing anything about it. I'm trying to raise the money. Ferdinand, go to the king. Ask him for money. You are the head guard. Your mother cannot die when you are the head guard in that palace. Mama Ozoma, you don't understand. Understand what? Understand what, Ferdinand? Are you telling me that the king of Iboko Kingdom is now too broke that he cannot give you money to take your mother to the best hospital in town? Is that what you're telling me? There is an administrative restructuring going on and nobody's allowed to go to the king directly with their problems. It's not allowed. Then you go to the queen. You are the head guard in that palace. And your problems must be seen as royal problem. Fine, fair enough. Can you just speak to the doctor for me? speak to him tonight that he should just take care of my mother and I'll come in tomorrow and, 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 and pay the money. Please. Prisoner. Who is that? Your Majesty, it's Ferdinand. The head guard. Freddy. Your, your, your Majesty, I'm not supposed to see you like this. Come and sit down here and say that to my face. I'd like for us to talk eyeball to eyeball. Your Majesty, it, 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 it. It, it might not be anything in, in another kingdom if another person sees the queen body apart from the king. But here in Boko's kingdom, it's a huge abomination. And, and, and it, I know the consequences. It can bring down the whole kingdom. Could you please spare me this mumbo jumbo about your archaic tradition and talk like someone who's living in a new world? Besides, I am the queen. Should you not concern yourself with what I want. Yes, yes, Your Majesty. I'm concerned with what you, what, 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 what you want, but Majesty, this, 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 is, this, is, this, this, this is different. Look, I just want you. So connected. It's not going to take long. Look, I just, I just want you to grab me and make me feel like a woman. Hmm? Your Majesty, I... I... I, 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 yeah, I need money for my mother. I, I, I need assistance. I, I think I've served this kingdom very well. To, to, to get the assistance I need to grow. I must get the money. Oh, I'm willing to help you. Go on at those days of again tradition. Civilization is taking over. Just use what you have to get what you want. Oh. Your Majesty. Yeah. yeah. Yo, your majesty! What worries my chief of palace guards? I understand uh, you sat on the throne all through the night. Your 
Majesty. It concerns my mother. Your mother? Uh, what is the matter with your mother? Your Majesty. And what for the king with this person with a hard working head guard? Ah, my dear. I was told that he was awake all night. Oh. And uh, when I asked him why, he says uh, it has to do with his mother. Oh, his mother? Mm. And why would you discuss issues concerning your mother with the king? While I'm still the queen mother of this land, I handle all the female affairs. I agree with you, your majesty the queen. But... There are no buts. I forbid you from ever discussing anything that has to do with women with the king. He has lots of headache dealing with land boundaries. He has so much headache dealing with masquerades. He has a lot of headache dealing with the administration of this kingdom that has so many problems. And yet you want to burden him with more problems about your mother while I'm still the queen mother of this land. Come with me and I will sort out every problem that has to do with your mother. She is quite right actually. You know, she is empowered by tradition to oversee a women's affairs. I'll go with her, I'll go with her. She will handle your case very well. Excuse me, my God. Why is the machine off? Eh? Why? Ferdinand, eh? are you actually telling me you came here without money? Eh? What kind of son are you, sir? I'm trying to find the money. I'm trying to find the money. <gasps> just, just bear with me a little more, please. Okay, I beg you. There are a lot of things happening. You don't understand what is happening. See, I'm leaving you here to face your problems. What? Honestly speaking, Ferdinand, I've done my best in bringing her to this new hospital. I've exhausted all the money I saved. And you know it. So I'm leaving. You have to take it off from here. I'm leaving. Mama was your Please. Thank you. I'm already indebted to you. And I will forever be grateful for all your assistance. I'm making you just a little more. How long are you going to continue with this same story, Ferdinand? This woman here is your mother. She is not my mother. I'm only assisting you because I know your father was a good man when he was alive. I'm trying to get this money. I know everything you've been doing for me. You've been doing a lot of things for me, a lot of sacrifices you've been making. You brought my mother here. You've been taking care of her, I understand. I beg you, just, just hold on a little more for me, please. this token. Please manage it. I appreciate it, but I I can't take the envelope.
Fena, are you going to reject what we contributed enough to assist your signals? What is in that envelope is not up to 20,000 naira. I know. But at least it will go a long way. Eh, just add it up. Manage it. It's better than nothing. Will you listen to me? I appreciate everything that you guys have done for me, okay? I, I understand and I'm very happy that you've been able to remember me in my times of trouble. Please tell the maids and the guards involved that I'm very happy and I will forever be grateful. But I cannot accept the envelope. I'm sorry. Just keep the little that you have. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I'll, I'll solve the problem. Many people blame doctors for always asking for payment before treatments are made. And some have erroneously concluded that doctors are heartless. The truth, however, is that doctors are tired of endless excuses from people whom they treated. I am sorry, this hospital cannot continue with the treatment until the payment of 80,000 is made. Huh? And if anything happens, this hospital cannot be blamed. Hey! Hey! Mom, how did you manage to get the money? Oh, baby, where I got the money from is not important. Hmm? Look, what is important now is that you are okay. Hmm? I know you don't have money, but where did you get the money? Ah, Ferdinand. <sighs> okay, all right. Now that you insist, I will tell you. I sold everything. Everything. See, I sold my jewelry. I sold my wrappers. I sold everything that we have to be able to raise the money. But I want to tell you that. All those things don't matter. What is important and precious to me is your life. And besides, I know that when you grow up, you will replace all these things for me. Hmm? Don't worry. I appreciate you, but I rather die than to see you suffer. I will never let you suffer in my life. Hey, don't say that, my baby. You are not going to die. You will not die. I'm your mother. I will die in your place. I am always willing to die for you. Hmm? Look, forget about all this death talk. The important thing is that you are well. Your body is good. God is faithful. Hey, God, thank you so much. You answer prayers. Thank you. See, my son, he's well. Oh, God, I thank you. Very soon you go home, eh? Yes, That's my boy. I'm only doing this because I want to save my mother. You would have fun. Oh. It's an abomination. Where is 
Ferdinand. Ferdinand? You should be somewhere in the compound. It's around. Banished if the king hears of this. The king will never hear this one. This is one secret we will take to our graves. Can I get my money? What's the hurry? Hmm? It's very late in the night. There is no way I'm letting you walk out of here now. I'll give you your money in the morning. Well, good night. <laughs> Where do you think you are going? Going to my room. Uh, you are not leaving this place. You're sleeping here tonight. You must be out of your mind. Aha. Uh -huh. I like the way you just addressed me. You know, it just shows that you don't see me as your woman. That you can order around. I like it. Your Majesty, I'm sorry. God forbid if I order you around. But I am not sleeping here. Look, I know you're afraid of the king. But don't worry, he is not coming. Besides, even if he happens to stop by, the door is locked. So there is nothing for you to worry about. Of course you don't expect me to let you out of my sight after, after what you did to me, do you? Mm -hmm. This is the money. I want you to assemble the specialist to start the high-tech treatment of my mother. I don't want to lose her. I'm sorry, young woman. You lost her. On behalf of the management of the hospital, I wish to express our Heartfelt uh, condolence. The money rather came too late. Once again, I am sorry. Using my advances. Go to the throne and do something useful for the kingdom. What do you mean, do something useful? Are you the one who's been telling me what to do as a king? Look, I'm sorry, king, if you're upset. I did not mean to upset you, but I'm just not in the mood. What has come over you? Do you realize it's an abomination for the queen to resist the king? Well, my king, I'm sorry. 
like I said earlier. I am your wife, all right? And you have the right to come to me when you want. But I'm not just that kind of queen that you can cajole with your baseless traditions. I am your wife. And you can touch me. But that's only if we are both in the mood. <laughs> I, I can put you in the mood and get you ready. But... <sighs> you know what you'll do for me, my king? Go to your room and wait for me. I'll meet you shortly. You want me to go to my room and wait for you? Why do you sound like that? Why are you returning the money? You didn't give the money to me when I needed the money. My mother is dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No. I have this feeling that what I dreamt has happened. Come, are you trying to tell me that he finally lost his mother? I'm not sure. 
But don't quote me anywhere. But I have this terrible feeling that all is not well. Hi. Too bad. Too bad. I'm not holding breath for him. But he was deeply troubled. You can't blame the poor boy for the death of his mother. The news everywhere is that she died because money was not provided in time. Mm -hmm. He should have collected what we gave to him. At least would have helped him a little. He would have managed it. What we gave to him was nothing compared to what was required. Is it that change that we gave to him that you would have used? My major problem is why the king did not give him the money when he required it. You mean? Long live your majesty the queen. Long live your majesty. I once heard the head guard caution against involving in idle gossips. Why are you two still involved in such an unacceptable act? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, but we're not involved in gossip. Yes, Your Majesty, we are not gossiping. Because see my aunt Pete, put him down. Hey, why are you always scared? Did you go see? Eh? Hey? Go and look for something to do. I, I will see you later, eh? set up the machinery in motion. I wanted to find out if any of the maidens have been going into the Queen's room and staying there. Yes, Your Majesty, I will find out. 